everyone, this is Barrett, live in the city of London. Hello everyone, you're welcome. This is Think Tank with Lorette and I'm glad to come your way today with a beautiful thought. Today is actually the 28th day of December, the year 2020. So the year 2020 is finally coming to a close. In the next three days, we'll be saying Happy New Year. So how are you doing? How was year 2020? I still recall that some people think that 2020 should be taking off the calendar. But guess what? In the same year 2020, there are people that maximized profits, they made progress like never before in the same year. Today I'm going to be sharing with us something that I thoroughly enjoyed studying. The principle of the rear view mirror. Yes, the rear view mirror. The rear view mirror of your car is used to see the things that are behind. All right, it's usually small and then it actually reflects only 4% of the light that is thrown to it. Something else about the rear view mirror of your car is that it is um, a convex glass that is used to form your rear view mirror. The convex glass always um, projects a virtual, erect and diminished image of any object that it captures. I'd like you to take note of the properties of the rear view mirror of your car. It's for a reason that I'm going in depth to outline them. Number one, it is small. Number two, it only reflects 4% of the light that comes to it. Number three, it is made of a convex glass, convex shaped glass, which usually reports the image that comes to it as virtual, erect, and diminished. That's the rear view mirror. Now, you don't make progress driving by constantly looking at your rear view mirror. If you do that, you're definitely going to hit something or hit someone what do you do you look through your windscreen your windscreen is big it provides visibility for you to see what is ahead and then also protects you from any negative things maybe the wind the rain objects you know you're protected by your windscreen it's big let's just liken this to our lives we cannot continue looking back you know looking back this is the end of the year 2020 we can't keep looking back at everything that has happened if we must all we can do is still glances you look back but whatever it is that you that you see there understand it's virtual all right it's gone it's in the back, it's in the past, it's gone, all right? It is diminished, it has no effect on you. What you should do is to look ahead. Using the windscreen of your car as an analogy, look ahead. Look at the possibilities, look at the things that lie ahead, the hope, and celebrate it. Let the goals that you set, let the hope that you see ahead, all right, provide for you the boost that you need to keep going. Fine, you may have made mistakes in the past. Things may have happened the way you didn't want them to happen, so you made mistakes. I'll tell you something that I saw on my son's um, profile one time. He said, you made your mistakes. Your, your mistakes didn't make you. That means you are bigger than your mistakes that got me thinking you made your mistakes your mistakes didn't make you 
That means you are bigger than your mistakes. As we round off this year 2020, I'd like to say to you, look through the windscreen. Don't look, don't keep looking at the rear view mirror. Embrace the possibilities ahead and get ready for an awesome 2021. So, did you like this video? I'd like you to drop your comments, like, subscribe, share, and get some other people thinking and embracing the possibilities of a beautiful new year. Thank you for watching.